we decided to call you, the uh, interim search committee uh, knew that we were hiring someone who was going to be, who was retired, who would need to take afternoon naps, and uh, who could take, a, take advantage of senior citizen meal discounts. But since the food in Chinatown is so doggone cheap, he didn't even need to use those. Um, and then also, we, we didn't expect that David was, we also expected that he was going to be with us no more than a year and a half, two years. And lo and behold, it's three years, and, and we've been blessed with his guidance, his patience, his leadership, his teaching, his love and support. So what a great way, after being our pastor, he can just retire and enjoy life. But no, you know, he, not too long ago, David sent me an email saying, Hey, Eddie, would you be a reference on my personnel information form? That means he wants to look for another job. So it made me wonder, you know, why does he want to continue to, uh, uh, continue to be a pastor? So I came up with the top ten reasons why David Moat is open to another call. So number ten, the economy. Guy needs to work. <laughs> Number nine, after us, we've energized him to go another ten years. <laughs> Number eight, he got us to open our Bible. Why not another church? <laughs> Number seven, he wants to go to another church where he where he be the only David. <laughs> Number six. He thinks he's still 55 years old. Delusional. <laughs> Number five. He can only bike so much. After a while, it's a pain in the butt or nearby. <laughs> Number four. He wants to tell others that God loves you. And you. And you. And you. <laughs> Number three. Women think he looks like Richard Chamberlain in the Thornburg. Chick Magnus. <laughs> Number two, he doesn't want to be known as David Mope. <laughs> and the number one reason? He thought PNC was going to take two more years. Whoops, better find another church. Um, thanks for being our pastor and you've been a blessing to us and hopefully likewise we've been a blessing to you.